Fear is false evidence appearing real. My experience on Cobra Kai was phenomenal from beginning to end. I had the best time working with some of the most iconic actors that I have ever personally worked with. And the best part about it was that I got to see some of the most elite karate masters ever. It's been amazing to watch him do his thing and come into his own. I'm used to seeing like tiny Dallas and now this man is like knocking people out in Cobra Kai. So, you know, it was lit. It was like crazy. My name is Dallas Dupree Young. I'm an actor and influencer. Join me on my day off. At the beginning of filming Cobra Kai, I was super nervous, especially my first day because I was acting alongside a lot of stars that I watched growing up. So it was, it was difficult, but Tanner Buchanan was the one person that helped me calm my nerves. He was the first person that I saw on set and he really gave me a breakdown of everything we need to do on set. And just the reason why this is such a cool place to be in a great environment to work. I do do my own stunts on Cobra Kai. I have a stunt double, but he, he helps me out at times. But yes, most of the time I'm doing my own stunts. On set, I'm just a professional actor who wants to get the job done and does whatever it takes to have a good relationship with each and every cast member, each and every crew member, and honestly have fun. In Dallas Offset, I'm a sports fanatic. I love baseball, football, and basketball. Some of the things that I love to do on my days off, I love to play pickleball with my friends, just hang out with my friends in general, and try new restaurants with my mom. So we have some Thai food. This is something that I've never tried before, so I'm really excited to dig in. My mom and I have a very strong relationship. She's always been there for me whenever times got tough, whenever I needed her the most. And she's just my role dog. We do everything together. So we have crab fried rice with nice egg. What is it, sunny side up? Is that? Yeah, it's like sunny side up. Yeah, sunny side up, and then you got a <laughs> cucumber with it, which I'm probably not gonna eat the cucumber. <laughs> with you. And what is this? Um, Sweet and sour pork. There you go. I never want him to just not know about other um, cultures. cultures and different foods and just different things, period. I was a very pick picky eater whenever I was younger, though. Oh, yeah, we got to LA old. and it was like, oh, no, no. It's time to try new stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, authentic flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so my favorite actors in the industry right now would have to be Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel Washington, Will Smith, and Michael B. Jordan. I love that Michael B. Jordan has been acting since he was a kid. He grew up in this industry and he has grown so much. And I feel like I really relate to that. So that's a place where I want to be in my career, just like him. But well, we've done a couple of things together. Though. We have done a couple of things together. <laughs> yes, a MetLife commercial and a commercial called, Bu it was like BuzzFeed. It was for BuzzFeed, yeah. And that audition experience was so funny because I was supposed to go in by myself and they said, wait, are you mom? She was like, yes, yes. Wait, come in here with him. And then next thing you know, we booked it together. It's fantastic. He is like my, my best friend. We hang out together. I call him my road dog all the time. He's my heart and soul. <laughs> any, any audition that I do, she helps me out with him. She is my director. This was my problem whenever I started acting. I thought I knew it all. And it got to the point where I didn't want my mom's help. And I was like, I, I want your help with this one time. After that, I realized that she's been a gift for me, honestly, and she's the reason why I keep getting better and keep wanting to grow as an actor. Watching him transition from sports to acting, it's been amazing because he was so, so good in sports back in Texas. Texas sports is just huge, and he did everything. He played baseball, football, basketball. My best funny memory of Dallas, probably, when he, when he didn't grow for the longest time. Oh! He, he, he complain, that's tough. He, that's tough. <laughs> hey, he, he's grown up now. He's you know, I'm now. getting up there now. I'm, yeah, get, I'm yeah. trying to get up there. Uh, you stuck at the same height for like three years. So. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting personal. <laughs> wow. That is true, though. That is true. Yeah. I developed the love for sports because of my dad. He is a professional baseball coach for the Atlanta Braves. So I've been practicing to be a major league baseball player since I was about three years old. But because of acting, I found a love and passion for that. I thought I was gonna be a sports mom. I thought I was gonna be in the stand screaming. Now I'm a stage mom, so it's a little different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I still get to scream quietly Yes. on the side. I got started into acting in a very interesting way. Uh, I got a call from an anonymous caller saying that they wanted to round up a few kids in Houston just to see if they had what it takes to be a successful actor. I went to the showcase in Houston. They said I should go to LA, get some training. Went to LA, found the best manager and agents that I could find. And, now I'm here and I found a very early love and passion for the career at an early stage. 
I was involved with the movie called Ready Player One. That was a really exciting experience for me because even though I was very new into acting, I knew who Steven Spielberg was and I knew all of the projects that he has done. And being in that environment and in his presence was very powerful to me just because he is one of the best in the industry. And whenever I got to meet him, one of the nicest people I've ever met. And he really told me I'm gonna have a bright future if I just keep working hard and keep having fun. Favorite project that I've acted on uh, besides Cobra Kai would have to be my Nickelodeon project called Cousins for Life. I love the relationship that all of the cast members and the crew members have with each other. And I love working every day for six months, going to the same studio, having so much fun. Knowing this dude for so long, like seeing like how much he's worked, like mm -hmm. all the, yeah. the stuff that he's done and been through to get there, like I feel like I'm like really proud of him, like seeing him. It's just seems like, to do karate on screen. I know, I, know, I, <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face, but it's honestly, it's honestly <laughs> great, man. Because yeah. seeing him go from like that Cousins for Life show on Nickelodeon to like Cobra Kai. To be honest with you, I was more excited to play the Tim and Scare character. I've never done that before in my career. And I said to my parents that this is something that I want to do. I have a strong passion for somebody who will be somebody up. Next thing you know, they're scared and they're timid and they show another side of reality. And that's what really made me want to play the character of Kenny. Dallas is a really, really, really sweet, kind-hearted kid. So to watch him go into that different zone is amazing to me. I really enjoyed that. The actors that really kept me on my toes and got me excited about acting would have to be Tanner Buchanan, Jacob Bertrand, and Ralph Macchio. Just watching those talented and intuitive actors really helped me grow as an actor and a person, and they really made me want to get better and want to learn more about my craft. Actually seeing him do karate is crazy, and how much he's actually yeah. grown as a person and an actor. Oh, thank you, bro. shocked me. The two guys' names who are the stunt coordinators are Don Lee and Kim Barrafield, who have really helped me out. Don Lee is so special in my heart just because of the fact that he really helped me out throughout the entire time we were filming. He taught me some very valuable lessons that I need to take outside of acting, and he really just helped me focus and not worry about the pressure, because I know I'm the youngest on set, but he said, if you just have fun and do your thing, everything's gonna be all right. One of the things that Ralph Macchio said to me that really helped me out was, you just got us another season. It was so special to me because of the fact that I, I was a newcomer on the show and he thought my performance was so notable and special that he wanted to come up to me and let me know how great I was doing. That just really meant a lot to me and it really washed away all of my fears. I'm so excited for Cobra Kai season five. It will definitely be worth the wait. An upcoming project that I would love to talk about would have to be 1-800-HOT-NIGHT. I have no idea when the movie will be coming out, but it's such a strong project that we really worked hard on. I can't wait for everybody to see it. That is an official picture wrap on Dallas Dupree Young as Tommy on 1-800-HOT-NIGHT. You're watching Days Off, only on Whistle.